Hey everyone, welcome back. Natalie here, getting ready to do a collective message for everyone. I hope you guys are doing okay. So, this will be for like for the weekend. I don't know, maybe till Friday. Alright, let's see what's going on my collective right now. We already got a card coming out, but that's too many. It said reveal what needs to be seen. If anyone needed a personal reading, my information will be in the description box below for you down there. Along with everything you need to know about this reading. Alright. Let's see. Let's get some energy, please, for the collective right now. Just some energy, please, for the collective. Um, give me four cards for the collective, Holy Spirit Angels. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so we have Think It Through, New Moon, and Gemini. I was getting a lot of communication. Um, everybody needs to. Also, I'm going to be uh, doing Gemini next, so tune in if you have any Gemini placements in your chart. But um, I'm getting something about communication for you guys. But think it through before you say something. Or someone here is trying to think something through before they say something to you. We have attend to the details. So just pay attention about something here. Or, yeah, pay attention to the details of, of what you need to say. Or this person is going to be doing that, okay? What else, please? We have embrace the flow of life. Another Gemini card. Full moon and Gemini here. What else, please? For the collective. Okay, so we have Be Humble, First Quarter Moon in Leo. Keep your heart open. Libra energy. All right, so I'm going to clarify this, but I want to pick one of these cards out for you guys. Hmm. What's going on with the collective? Give me a message. Thank you. So we have stars here. You can manifest your every wish. Um, I'm, okay, so if this is manifestation for you guys, you got to be very precise about the words that you choose when you manifest, is what I'm hearing. It comes with time and patience. Also, remember when you manifest, you have to let things go into the universe. You can't um, hold on to whatever you're manifesting because that's not how manifestation works. It's not how you get your abundance in when you're constantly worried about, you know, whether or not you're going to get it. So... I feel like a lot of you could be manifesting um, under this full moon right now. And um, Spirit is saying that you need to think it thoroughly exactly what you want. Choose your words wisely and be humble about it too. I'm, I'm getting that if you yeah, come to the throne humble. If you come to the throne humble, something may work out for you. But I'm also getting like someone here needs to do this with you guys. I'm getting something like someone here... Like, needs to come to you humble and think it through before they say what they're needing to say. Let's clarify. Clarify, think it through, please, for the collective. We have rejection, loss, and fragmented. Someone here is fearing rejection. That's why they don't want to come towards you. Yeah, something about the spirit guides. Don't mess with them no more. Disharmony because they call too much conflict or disharmony here in a situation. Let's clarify, attend to the details. So they feel a great loss. They feel fragmented. They f they can't think something through because they're afraid of rejection. Or they know that you're going to reject them. Attend to the details, please, for the collector. Attend to the details. Okay, that's a lot. I'm also getting something like someone here rejected you and they did not think that through. They didn't think that through. Why is there to the details here, please? For the collective. Holy Spirit and Angel. We have Shadow Side, Moon, the Dark Night. So, Seed, Spring, Autumn, Harvest. Okay. Someone here is realizing that they were like maybe dark in a situation or like they showed you their shadow side or something like that. And it's something that they have to deal with here on their own. I'm guessing like this person here is like looking in the past about like when the relationship started and how they were just like dark the entire time. Hold on. How they didn't show appreciation. Yeah, this person is getting karma now. Yep. Things are being balanced out. They feel, they feel pretty low about themselves because it's like spirit is showing them themselves in a way okay clarify embrace the flow of life for the collective embrace the flow of life 
All right, so we have present abundant gratitude. I feel like this is you guys in this present energy. You guys are just happy in your life right now. You're not worried about the past. You're not necessarily worried about the future either. You're just in the present moment. Yeah, you trust divine timing here. So it's like, it's all good where you're at right now. You trust divine timing. You know that the divine will bring something in for you that's yours if it's yours. But meanwhile, while you're going through this, they're going through a lot of shadow work right now. And they're, they're being shown themselves. Someone here is not liking where they're at right now. Clarify, be humble. Clarify, be humble, please, for the collective. Holy Spirit and angels. That's a lot of cards, but I'll take them. We have rebirth here, winter. Spirit, guys, is in the reverse with the twin flames in the reverse. I feel like this is, okay, so this may, all right, so this may be um, reconciliation coming for you guys. You guys could have someone who's usually very prideful come towards you and be humble because they know this is a twin flame situation or they know that you guys have a connection. They may need assistance from the spirit guides because I feel like this person, if this person is praying or if they are in the energy of like, you know, trying to get closer to God, it's like spirit is like definitely showing them the things about themselves that they need to fix in order to come towards you in this relationship. We have self-love and intentions here. They have to have good intentions for you because you're like the, you're like the divine's baby and it's like you you're just you're just like in the energy of creation right now. So they have to have great intentions for you because you have great intentions for the world. So why would spirit put you with someone that doesn't have great intentions for you? Right? So let's get into the tarot because I feel like someone needed to hear that. I feel like this person's starting to realize that. They're realizing that they need to, someone here wants to give you your every wish is what I heard. And if someone can't give it to you, I feel like you're in the energy of getting it from the divine anyway. So... I feel like you're in the energy of not needing this person. What's the energy, please, for the collective right now? Queen of Wands, very confident and very powerful. Queen of Wands represents someone who has overcame a lot of battles. She's the queen of the wands. Um, she's a war. She, she's about war, but in a good way when she's upright, too. Six of Swords, you gain a lot of confidence, you move forward. Spirit was like, we gotcha, and they close that cycle out, or they call judgment down. Now the Wheel of Fortune is here, so it's like the wheel is turning in your favor, you get to move forward. You walked away from this person, you walked away from the past, or you walked away from a soulmate. So I'm getting you're not in the energy of love, but you are in the energy of like overcoming ambition. You could also be like a very powerful witch. What's the energy, please? For the collective right now, you guys could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not getting a, a negative energy from this Queen of Wands at all. I'm getting like very positive energy. Ooh, not feeling too good about this Queen of Swords in reverse though. Someone here is not happy about what the heck is going on here. We have the Four of Pentacles here and the Lovers. There is a person here who is speaking ill will about you. She doesn't want your partner to come towards you. Yeah, the King of Cups, because she knows this King of Cups is in love. So she knows this King of Cups is in love with you, pretty much. This could be a Gemini person or an Earth sign. Yeah, and I feel like this is divinely, this is definitely a soulmate for you, but it's, there's someone here, definitely. Yeah, the Ace of Cups is in reverse, so it's like, I feel like this person definitely tainted the relationship or tainted the love for you. You feel like this person can't. You know, this person is stuck in another eight year cycle, eight to 10 year cycle is what I'm getting here. They're receiving major karma or they're just really stuck. They know that you'll reject them because of this queen of swords in the reverse. She likes to ruin things with her words, right? Or she likes to ruin things by meddling or slandering and things of like that. So she's not really like, well, actually she is a karmic energy, but at the same time, she's more like bitter. She's always like trying to get into someone's head here. 
right? She maybe talks really bad about the Queen of Wands because the Queen of Wands is so beautiful. What else, please? The collection. King of Swords is in the reverse. So we have, all right, so we have a couple here and they're both in the reverse. I feel like these two don't like each other. He doesn't like her, she doesn't like him, but there's something, okay, so now all of a sudden here, they feel like you're in the middle of their relationship, but their relationship sucks. Here we have the Three of Wands here, the Six of Swords. They can't even move on from each other. They can't move on. It's like they're stuck with each other or something like that. They have lack of discernment because everything backfired on them because you're the one with all the money. You're the one with the legacy here. And they, they're they spying on you and talking crap here or something here. Unexpected. They thought that they were that. Okay, I'm getting this Queen of Swords and this King of Swords here. They like to fight. They like to argue. When they're both in the reverse like that, you can imagine the words that are being said between these two people right here, right? And you're just in your Queen of Wands energy right now, collective, and you're just like, what's going on? Like, you're the witch. You don't have to fight. You're very powerful. You're the Queen of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups here in the reverse with the Page of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like some here is like really immature. They like try to come around in your energy a fake friend energy some of you are trying to play play like they were your friend or something like that and they got rejected here someone who could be younger than you yeah things are not turning in their favor they want you to be like in this scattered energy like them this could also be someone who's like financially dependent on people here or i don't know knight of wands reckless with their money that's why things are always delayed for them so they wanted to delay this connection here and i'm getting this king of swords the one, you know, that's in love with you, he hates this person. Like, I don't want to say it like that, but he hates this person here. So about the King of Swords in the reverse, please, for the collective. King of Swords, Two of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, then we have the Ace of Swords and the Hermit. This person isn't talking to you, but they want to say something to you. But we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like they feel like they fumbled the bag or like they fumbled like a blessing here. They dropped it. They really feel like there's nothing new that's going to come from this. I feel like I'm getting like scared energy. I'm getting like they're blaming this Queen of Swords for everything that's going on here. I'm also getting like they chose wrong though. I'm getting like it's not just her fault. I'm getting like they chose wrong or they were in this nonchalant energy with the two of swords pretending like they didn't see the offer now all of a sudden they have clarity six of cups ten of swords in reverse seven of cups in reverse yeah there's no more games to play off of anymore so like there's no more illusions here something here like didn't even hurt you now all of a sudden this person is restless and heartbroken the magician is in reverse. They, they manipulated you emotionally in a way. So they manipulated you emotionally, but they don't like this person. So they probably just use this person to like get underneath your skin. And it's like you're way too powerful to be bothered. You're completely unbothered right now. I don't know if this is in the reverse or not. When it fell on my leg. Yeah, someone here is like wondering where you're at or like they're in regret right now. Give me more energy, please, for the collective. Knight of Wands. Someone could be trying to rush back to you, but this was a soulmate connection. Or like someone here rushed back to their past. Okay. They rushed back to their past or something like that. Or they try to like have fun with their past. Or they try to like use their past against you or something like that. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, and I'm guessing this Queen of Swords, she's not in the energy, of, well, she is in the energy of hate, full energy, but I'm guessing like she also approached you guys and tried to pretend to be your friend, but she's like super fake with it and you ended up rejecting it because you saw what, what was going on. What else, please? All right, I'll take it. We have the Hermit out here. The Hangman. The world, the sun in the reverse. Someone here is not happy. Um, I'm hearing you left them hanging or you ghosted them. We have the three of swords. Yeah, this person was doing things 
they were they put themselves out in the cold with their manipulation or they thought that they could put you out in the cold by manipulating you and hurting you or having you separated from them they used the queen of pentacles in the reverse to do this so maybe she thought something something was in it for her or someone here wanted you to be like financially dependent on them or something like that that's not how you are four of wands is out here the seven of pentacles in the reverse and the star i'm also getting like your home is protected or like you you're just like very authentic someone here invested poorly in a home or like all their money is going into a home here or all their money is going into a marriage they made poor investments here i'm also getting like hold on because i feel like this person is like in love with you i don't feel like your person hates you i feel like they they were playing a game here but i'm guess i'm guessing the third party this queen of swords in the reverse she um thought that it was going to be a good investment to like break you guys up and all it did was make this person more drawn to you what else please i feel like these people misjudge your manifestation skills they think that you can't that you'll go without when you're not in their energy so i'm guessing like this is the type of person to like treat you as if you can't find another love but you clearly can you can manifest another love here what else please for the collective and what else please for the collective if king of wands in reverse the ace of ace of wands in reverse what a pig what a lazy person it's like they're, that's how they're coming off as this person likes to sleep around ace of wands in reverse then we have the ten of swords I mean, the Eight of Swords. So something here failed for them. Now they're stuck in whatever that they're doing. I feel like whatever choice they made, they got to stick to it here. They are not happy. They're sort of like stuck in something. They're not happy with a Taurus or they're not happy with this with this uh, status quo that they're living by. Yeah, the Ten of Swords is in the reverse with the Four of Swords in the reverse. Something here just totally missed you. It's like you're really unbothered by all of this. Four of Swords in Reverse, Eight of Cups in Reverse, Nine of Swords in Reverse, Seven of Swords in Reverse, Ten of Pentacles is out here. It's like, Spirit, let this person trick you so that they can know their place is basically what I'm getting here. It's like you, you're you already done with the energy of the King of Wands in Reverse. It's like maybe you've dealt with people like this before. This person didn't know that. They thought they were the first one to sleep around on you or something all right so we have the cherry in the reverse and some of the ones in reverse this person is scattered and they're not protected they can't do anything to defend themselves here they're really scattered they're not protected yeah they're really foolish seven of cups is in the reverse the ten of wands it's like all the games are over with it's not funny anymore or like all the games are like there's no more illusions to play off of. There's nothing but responsibilities and burdens now. So I hope while they're laughing at you, they're laughing at you while they're trying to get their bills together or, you know, something like that. Like this person has a lot of responsibilities to be taken care of instead of worrying about you. This person doesn't like to take care of their responsibilities. So I figured that they thought that they could hurt you or like put you in the Ten of Swords. They didn't realize your strength or something like that or they didn't realize your power because you're really powerful. You're way more powerful than this King of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Wands came out first before all the cards, and she came up upright. So that's you guys. You're ten times more powerful than this person here. I'm also getting with the Nine of Cups and the Hierophant. You could be heading into a marriage, or it's like you're getting blessed by the Divine here. Um... Someone here wishes that they can marry you, but with the Eight of Swords and Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Temperance in reverse, someone here doesn't have, like, not only do they not have the stamina, they don't have the temper for it because you're too kind and loving here. If they work together with you, they would make you unhappy. This is basically what I'm getting from this reading. And, I mean, this person may very much see you as their person, but, like, they would have a lot of growing up to do. Look. I love myself enough to walk away. I know we have a soul connection. 
yeah you know you have a soul connection with this person but you know good and darn well you've already learned this lesson before someone here totally underestimated you or these people underestimated you yeah they want to let you know that they've been struggling those please for the collective what needs to be said I hope I'll see you again sometime. So this person wants to see you again. I fear that you will reject me. Yep. Yep. This person fears that you'll reject them because of the game that they played here or the person that they've involved here. You know about this third party here. Maybe they lied to you and said that they didn't mess with that person. And this third party maybe goes around and tells, you know, other men or other women that they don't mess with this person either. So this is two people that really hate each other. But for some reason, when your beautiful self popped up in the picture and all of a sudden they're close together. And they know that you know that. So they fear that you will reject them. We are more alike than I admit. And then we have, I love myself to walk away. This person is in the energy of like, they love themselves too, right? But they didn't understand that you loved yourself. Okay? I forgive you. Yep. You forgive this person because you know this person... This person tried to play a game with you and they wondered how far it was going to go. And it you stopped it right as soon as it started. You didn't let this person like try to get underneath your skin or to get in your head. You're way too focused on your ambitions and your success following north node you guys are in the energy of following your purpose so you're going the right way what else please for the collective right now by spirit and angels we have visions and dreams okay so this may have something to do with your manifestation i feel like you have exact you have the right vision about what you want to do i don't know exactly what that business idea that you guys have but it's like it's very vivid to you. You can see it. You can touch it. You can smell it. You can feel it. You know how much money something is going to cost. You know exactly where things are going to go. It's like you have dreams about this. Or if someone here dreams about you, you're so strong. I wish I can be that, okay? Like I said, someone here definitely underestimated you. I'm the, I'm disturbed by the attention you get by people. Yep. You get a lot of attention. You're also manifesting mind, body, and soul. 333. Spiritual jail, physical jail, entrapment. Someone here is trapped because why? They can't bring you down. All right, guys. So that was your reading. Hope this resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and uh, like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. See you next time. Bye.